Greetings once again, Internet. Happy Saturday to you from the Paisley Couch. It's the amazing Fleck. And today I uh, woke up with a little sore throat and feeling under the weather. So I took a shower, and after I got out of the shower and managed to uh, cough up some things, I felt a lot better, but I still didn't feel quite 100%. So I canceled my appointments and decided to take a day just to get some good rest, take care of myself. Kind of ironic considering that yesterday's video was on the topic of physical and mental health, followed by a strange long rant about stuff. You can check it out if you want, the video right before this one. But I did end up getting the rest of my order, video and production equipment. This is the lighting package, so I'd like to share that with you here today. Here it is. Let's open her up and see what's inside. Oh, we have our our white panel. Can it pediddle? Yes, it can. Let's see, what else have we got here? Hey, we got our green screen. And the green screen pediddles just as much as the white panel. Black screen, also pediddle worthy. Ooh. We have assembly instructions as well as safety precautions. I like safety. Become thoroughly familiar with the product before use. Run through at least one practice assembly and disassembly before you schedule a shoot. Never leave the lighting unsupervised when in use. Keep children or your relent person away from lighting equipment. Your relent. If the power cord shown sign or wear of damage, they should be replaced or repaired by a qualified electrician before use. Way before bulbs are completely cool before touching or removing them. That's a pro tip. Never use in a wet environment. Good to know this is not waterproof. <laughs> Never move the appliance around by pulling the cord. Make sure the cords are not connected to the bulbs. Do not wind the cord around the appliance. Place stands slash tripods on flat surface to prevent toppling. Do not touch the metal parts near the bulbs which are hot in temperature while in use. And do not let umbrella light bulb when in use. Okay. Light bulb will get hot and can ruin the softbox or start a fight. Whoa, okay. Well, let's not let that happen now, huh? The more you know. All right, we have two 33-inch translucent umbrellas. We have four energy-saving lamps, 45 watts each. We have two X lamp holders. We have three muslin backdrops, 6 foot by 10 foot. I thought this was supposed to be 8.5 by 10 feet. Well, I guess you get what you pay for once again. I got a really good deal on this, so I think at the very least... It was worth it just for the tripods and the bag. Six backdrop clamps, two soft boxes with carrying bag, and then one large carrying bag, and then four light stands. So excellent. Um, this is it. This is me opening it. I haven't put it to use yet. I'm still using my ring light and just standard light household fixtures for the moment. I have to turn down the exposure to make sure that you don't see any skipping when I'm doing contact juggling or fast motions. If I turn all the settings to auto, it gets, it's very bright, and I don't have to turn my lights on so high, but there's like a skipping effect. I'm still learning how to use the various settings in OBS, as well as the ins and outs of the program Shotcut, of the editing software I'm using. And learning more and more about lighting and sound every single day I'm doing this. So you're watching someone self-educate as you go along this video series. Well, cool. We got some safety precautions. I, I, I was tickled by the keep children or ear relent person away from lighting equipment. That was pretty funny to me. And then we, of course, have uh, assembly instructions. I'm using the same brand of, of, of equipment that I got for the ring light, uh, just because I'm, I'm happy with the ring light and how it worked, and it was, it was cheap. We'll put that away for the time being. What do we have here? Tripods, maybe, or... Yes, this looks like it's two tripod bases, maybe for the backdrop, I'm not sure. The backdrop itself comes with a couple of tripods and a crossbar, so you can hang the green screen or the white screen and black screen on it. And that could be really helpful if I'm trying to make it look like I'm shooting from somewhere else other than my living room. This is exciting. Well, excellent. Yeah, I'm uh, still nursing myself back to good health. I managed to get a lot of the gunk out of my throat. We'll call it gunk. Got a lot of the gunk out of my throat. I'm I, uh, drinking some low sodium vegetable juice. Just trying to take better care of my health overall. And, and oh the irony, after doing a video on the importance of health, I'm sitting here today feeling not as good as I could be feeling. After a nice 
six hour nap with Lucy inside my bedroom and and playing some nice mellow techno music. Uh, me and Lucy had a nice nap and I woke up without my headache or without as much stuff in my throat and started my day late in the day and that's okay. Yeah. So what I think I want to do tonight is I want to get a little ahead of schedule and I'm going to start filming my contact juggling instructional video. I'm going to do a little outfit change for the first in a series of many on various tips, tricks, illusions, and effects one can perform with acrylic balls. Or anything round. I just prefer a clear acrylic ball. But that's for the video that's happening a little bit later here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this one a day. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This was the unboxing of my lighting equipment for my channel. I can't wait to learn the technology, uh, learn the equipment, bring it all together, and give you my loyal viewers, uh, something much more enjoyable and much more palatable to the eyes and with better artistic visions, more than just uh, a guy ranting in front of his camera into the void that is known as the internet. So everyone, thank you very much for watching and subscribing and liking my videos so far. Share any videos you think might be useful to other people. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by here today. From the amazing Fleck here on the Purple Paisley Couch, I'd like to thank you for the 18th time in this video. And remember to uh, keep safe, be well, stay humble, and peace.